Yep, this is not standard for the opening of a blooms for you dedication update video. I know. So we're going to do something a little bit different today and I hope that you enjoy what's coming up next. The footage I'm showing you is from early in the season when Cousin It was blooming profusely and beautifully and before Dum Dum here caused him to get some serious cold damage, which is a shame. But I have not exploited Cousin It enough this year when it comes to bloom dedication, so we're going to be looking at some older footage while he was in pristine bloom without cold damage. While I say thank you to everybody who has clicked on this video, Thank you to everybody for taking the time watching this video. It supports the channel immensely. And these blooms bloom for everybody that is not mentioned in this video today. I also use the opportunity for the opening of my blooms for you videos to say thank you to all my orchid ninjas. But we're going to do something different today as well because I have some extremely special footage. I'm going to attach that at the end because we're going to be revisiting other blooms that have yet to be dedicated and well I'm going to be catching up with all the blooms that I have footage for that I didn't get around to dedicating while the orchids were in bloom we're going to start with the footage for the orchid ninjas to say thank you to all of them at the end of the video because Julian S. Sun left a comment which inspired this turn of events so I hope you enjoy the blooms that are coming up and once again cousin it bloomed for you if you're not mentioned here today. So thank you so, so much for your support. Renanthra Citrina, you may think there's not much to see here, but the fact that she did bloom, ha, huh, that's credit to the orchid because her conditions were less than ideal as she was producing the spike and even prior to that because the winter was dark, gloomy and ick. So the fact that we have four blooms, which I would like to dedicate to Shauna and Sarada TS, well, that to me is a gift. So thank you to the two of you for your support on my channel, my Renanthra Citrina, she blooms for you this season. Yes, the blooms could be much more elaborate, much more expansive. I could also have branching. I thought one day that we were getting there with this orchid because the size of her warrants a more abundant blooming. However, as I mentioned, the conditions are not ideal when this orchid needs to have bright light and warmth in order to get the spike nicely formed, plenty of blooms and buds. Yes, that doesn't happen in my climate anymore. That's why they are so precious to me. And I'm still happy to say thank you to Shauna and Sarada TS via my Citrina for your support on my channel. It is so, so appreciated. Now you may say they look a little bit creamy yellow if you're familiar with Citrina. The yellow is a bit more bright, more fresh, a little lighter, but I had to reduce the exposure a little bit because the reflection of the facade was washing the blooms out. So I hope that the couple of images that I've added will give you a proper idea and representation of what the blooms are really like. This orchid not being fragrant, but she is charming and citrino. She lives up to her name. She has this beautiful little angelic fresh look about her. I love it. And the fact that she's alive. Whew, I love that even more. <laughs> so thank you once again, Shauna and Sorada TS for your support on my channel. It is greatly appreciated and I hope that you are doing well. My gorgeous Dendrobium Victoria Regina. First of all, before I get carried away, I want to say thank you to Kathy Rebuilds, Romeo Silvestre, and Moon Bloomable for your support on my channel here. Now, yes, it's a sunny day. I was looking for a shady spot. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze in the blooming alley. The whole reason being is what you're seeing is a very fuchsia, dark fuchsia kind of bloom. That is not representative of the actual color of the blooms of my Dendrobia Victoria Regina. She is a little bit more purple than that, and that is an understatement. <laughs> but I thought it was a beautiful day. Why not bring her outside, see her in a different light? And I will be inserting images of her blooms so that you can pretty much get an idea of her actual color. 
However, we always talk about cameras not being able to pick up certain colors, certain hues, and that happens to be true with the Victoria Regina as well. Let's just say her name is what it is, Victoria Regina. It's very royal, so if you can think of the most royal of purples that you can imagine and conjure up, that is her actual color. And now in the sun, as to where I'm standing, she also has a beautiful satiny shimmer, like the cloaks of the royals. It's very, very beautiful. This is her second flush this year. I am super happy to see that she's doing so well. And currently she's also growing roots out of the wazoo, at least out of all the growths going up and behind the mount. It is just wonderful to see how this orchid is thriving in my climate, which normally would be considered maybe too hot, too dry for her for maybe 50% of the season. But she is still in active growth on some growths. Some growths now have matured. They've been busy for the last three years. They are matured. And then we're going to have some more of these gorgeous blooms next year. And the fact that she flushes on two cycles is simply because I have three different, I know, <laughs> I only bought two, but I got three different Victoria Reginas. I wanted to make sure I had something in petto in case something were to go wrong because of course, again, my climate supposedly not conducive to a cool, cold grower. Anyway, hence, I got two. Turns out when they each started to bloom, I have three different kinds of blooms, but each one of them is absolutely stunning and well, not fragrant. But again, what can you say? You can't have it all. You cannot have royalty in the house and then also expect all the trimmings. Well, let me rephrase that. Yes, you can, but when it comes to orchids, maybe we have to make some concessions. I'm just really happy that she is blooming again and allows me to say thank you once again to Kathy Rebuilds, Romeo Silvestre, and Moon Bloomable. Your support on my channel, being here, is so appreciated. It would be wonderful to see you more in the comments, but maybe that is asking too much. Your mere presence, the fact that your name showed up, means that you've been in the comments or you have subscribed, and I cannot thank you enough for that. It means a lot. It goes a long, long way. I hope you're all doing well in your part of the world. Once again, thank you so, so much for being here. My Dendrobium Victoria Regina, she blooms for you. These blooms of my Zygopetalum trozy blue are not for me, but they are for Clistion, Siuxiu Petrova, and Jennifer Liu. So, thankfully, we've got the zygo back to blooming again after it probably had a bit of a sulk <laughs> from being repotted. Not really repotted, I only up-potted her. Yeah, and then she had a sulk. But this time around, we got ourselves a beautiful spike with some fabulous blooms with an amazing fragrance of cinnamon. It's a bit spicy, but there's a hint of sweet. It is delicious. I love the fragrance. And while she's in my blooming alley, while I'm pottying around in there, ooh, she is at nose level and boy, oh boy, is it yum. <laughs> anyway, the blooms last for quite some time. They've been around now for five weeks, but Seeing as the growth is starting to mature, that means also that the blooms are going to fade and then we're going to get ourselves a nice new growth with new roots, after which there will probably be another repotting or up-potting session in the year of 2023. We'll see how she fares in that pot. I just wanted to make sure that I don't hog my beautiful zygopetalum blooms, that I don't say my, instead I say your zygopetalum blooms, Klis Thion. Siuxiu Petrova and Jennifer Liu. This Zygopetalum Trozy Blue, she blooms for you to say thank you to all of you so, so much for your support on my channel. It is greatly appreciated and I hope that you are doing well. Whether you're in the fall or you are in the spring as I am, I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so, so much for your support. half sun, half shade. <clears throat> it's that time of day, but I've got to do this. I have to do this. I have people to thank and blooms to dedicate. So this little bloom here, yeah, if we put shade on her, she pretty too. 
Dendrobium nobili, this gorgeous, gorgeous spectacle, blooms for Vijaya Lakshmi, Jen Thompson, Suna Yun, Joy Daniels, Living by the Beach, Pamela Drillian, Kay Lums, Mary Beth J. Bellon, Epi Jennings, Super VVs, Cute Kitty Miasma, David Kim, Sue, Brandy France, and Jay Palmer. I know it's a long list, but let me tell you, if I were to dedicate one bloom to a name on my list of people that I have identified supporting the channel, we would be here for another minute because this orchid has about 250, 300 blooms. It would make a fantastic dent into my list of people that I can give a shout out, of people I can say thank you to, but I know that time is precious for everybody. The fact you're here watching this video, I want to thank you, but my Dendrobium nobly blooms for the people that I've just mentioned to thank them personally in a way that I can, well, by offering this beautiful spectacle as a thank you to all of you just mentioned for your support on my channel. It is so appreciated. Personally, I would love to read out another 200 names. Trust me, because the fragrance of this orchid just makes you want to stick around, linger, stay longer, have every excuse to be around her. The freesia fragrance matched with the spring atmosphere this time of year. It is just magical. To be honest with you, magical is the word. There's such a fresh and clean smell about her and also it matches those blooms with a beautiful blush of pink on the petals and sepals. If I can get some imaging up that shows her sparkling, that's going to be a bonus because it is extremely difficult to capture. But this orchid has been in my collection since 2017, so somewhere in my archives I may be able to find an image that does capture the sparkle. She is an absolute machine. I've got about seven or eight new growths coming. Granted, many of them are also coming from keikis that I put back into the pot, but that all adds to the abundance of the pot. And it's just, oh, when she blooms, it's just, yes, cartwheels around the patio. So with all those new growths coming, this orchid is getting fertilized like a machine as well. We're going to keep it nicely well oiled. We're going to get those growths to size so that we have a repeat blooming next year. So once again, just to make sure that everybody who is listening and watching the video doesn't feel like they've been left out, I'm going to list the names again because I really mean it. I want to thank you, everybody that I've dedicated this orchid to. I want to thank you for your support on my channel. They say it, I mean it. It is not just me standing in the sun, just inhaling the beautiful fragrance here. No, I want you to know how much I appreciate your support. So thank you once again. Vijaya Lakshmi, Jen Thompson, Suna Yun, Joy Daniels, Living by the Beach, Pamela Drillian, Kay Lums, Mary Beth J. Bellon, Epi Jennings, Super BBs, Cute Kitty Miasma, David Kim, Sue, Brandy France, and Jay Palmer, my Dendrobium Nobly. She has no ID, but basically all of that is irrelevant because she blooms for you to say once again, a massive thank you for your support on my channel. You are so appreciated. It's a little bit unfair of me to be standing here drinking in, kind of, but inhaling the perfume of my Dendrobium Unicum while I say thank you to Pedra Danin Ogaro, KC, Myrna Scheffler, and Stance Punks for your support on my channel. Hey, Dendrobium Unicum, nine blooms, they bloom for you. That's what this is all about. Finding names, identifying names, putting them on a list. Eventually when orchids bloom, match them up with the names that come up next, etc., etc. Yours came up with the Unicum, let me tell you something, it is a pleasure to stand here. The blooms are now open for about three weeks in total, maybe four weeks. The last bud just opened. And this tangerine, let's say apricot tea, kind of a mix of a fragrance, it is a reminder of a tropical cocktail that you get as a welcome drink when you arrive from your long journey to your holiday destination. It is refreshing, it is inviting, it wants to bring you in closer because you can't get enough of it, you want more of it. And let me just tell you something, it doesn't stop. 
it goes from morning till evening even on a cloudy day so there's no need for things to be super warm super sunny to smell this fragrance once you've inhaled the fragrance you can then walk away and that perfume lingers in your nose i don't know if you have it sometimes i have it a lot that i can smell something and it just lingers around you even while you've distanced yourself from the object of such magnificent perfume. <laughs> yes, that's what this Dendrobium Unicum does. Lives up to her color with her fragrance. My little one has a long way to go to become a specimen, but we're working on it. We're working on it. At least she is a reliable bloomer. What more can we ask of an orchid? Meanwhile, she's already working on her first new growth. And I say first because somewhere in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, surely you can do more or do we have to put you on a cork mount to see if we can squeeze a little bit more performance out of you time will tell in the meantime the blooming of my dendrobium unicum of the year 2023 with its gorgeous gorgeous intricate colors intricate lip and the colors the stripes the perfume i know i'm being selfish i'm rambling it's in the air i can't help myself but I have to thank Pedra Dancine Ogaro, KC, Myrna Scheffler, and Stance Punks for giving me another excuse to be around and very close to this Dendrobium Unicum because if I wasn't dedicating the blooms to you, I would probably have misted her once, twice during the day and walked away. And here I am once again, thanks to you. Your support on my channel is so appreciated. Thank you for that as well. It means a lot. Trust me, it means a lot. So thank you, Pedro Dancino Garo, KC, Myrna Scheffler, Stance Punks, for being here and supporting the channel. And to cap this dedication update video off, for the Orchid Ninjas, my Crestwood and my Bossery, they bloomed for you. Julian S. Sun mentioned in a comment that he wished that he still had a Crestwood, that he was envious of my Crestwood blooms. So I said, you know what? They bloom for you. The fact that I haven't actually gotten around to doing this, to actually showing you the blooms, giving you the images and the clips, etc., making it a full-on dedication. Yeah, well, I am so sorry. But you know, better late than never in my books because they did both bloom spectacularly against all odds everything that they have to deal with in my winter holding space <laughs> until temperatures improve so julian s sun orchid ninja let me tell you thank you for your support on my channel and a massive thank you as well to all the orchid ninjas that have given me their vote of confidence so early in the day that are supporting me with their subscription as a member, you have no idea what that means to me because I cannot verbalize it. I cannot explain it. I have limitations. If I start to go down that road, I start to get emotional and I really would like to avoid that. But let me tell you something. Every time I see your name pop up with your little icons in the comments, in the live streams, it just Ugh, it moves me so know that you are appreciated i can only put it this way without becoming a blubbering mess the two angrecoids my two majestic giants of my collection they bloomed for you from the moment julian s son said what he said i said yep that's it we're gonna do it differently in a bloom dedication video and this is it the fragrance of these two orchids match so the blooms don't have a different fragrance. So we've got the jasmine, we've got the vanilla, and then there's a little bit, only on the Crestwood, there's a little bit of a soapy note at the end, but that just ends in a fresh layer after you have taken in all the other layers, the jasmine and the vanilla. So I find the fragrance just remarkable. I think the fragrance of any Angrecoid, if it were to be a stinky bulba film fragrance, I would love the fragrance anyway. I am that biased when it comes to these orchids, to this genus. Bring them on in size, trying to grow them well. It is a challenge. Oh, but it is a labor of love. It gives me so much joy and satisfaction to have these orchids, whereas I know they belong in the wild and I feel like I'm containing them, like they're living in a zoo. But anyway, at least they bloom, at least they're still alive. And that gives me the opportunity to 
fulfill what I said to Julian S. Sun, Dan Greykoitz, they bloom for you. And then I've tagged along all the other orchid ninjas because such sensational blooms for such sensational support. I think it is the perfect match and I hope that you agree with me. Meanwhile, if everybody else has made it this far, let me thank you as well for your support. Having just spoken about the Angrecoids, this is where they are now. And they have their own designated little beach umbrella just to keep them safe from the sun. Like I said, it's a labor of love. I appreciate your time. I wish you all a beautiful day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.